Okay, look, before you hop in your car and go drive to Macy's or Sephora at Ulta and walk in and, and start smelling a bunch of different things while the sales associate is watching over you like a hawk, trying to give you some sort of advice or, or try to guide you in which direction you should pick, even though they really don't know what they're talking about either, I've got something a little bit easier for you. Today we're gonna to be going over 10 blind buy safe fragrances that I think every guy should make at some point in their collecting hobby. These are fragrances that are very, very versatile, easy to pull off in everyday situations, no matter what it is that you're going to. And because of that, they're just also very likable and your success rate of picking these up and then liking them is very high. Not everyone wants to go through the process of sampling and trial and error and all of that. Uh, some people enjoy it, others not so much. And if you don't want to go through that and you just want it to be laid out for you and make it easy, if you just want some things to pick up and smell good, this video is going to be for you. Like I said, because we're talking about blind buy scents here, these are all going to be on the more just beginner level side of things, not even necessarily beginner level, just again, more wearable, which I guess some people would equate to being more beginner friendly, depends on how you look at it. So we'll provide links to these down below so you can pick them up at prices below retail. And also I'm doing a $500 giveaway on the community tab, I'll link that down below as well so you can enter that before I choose a winner here soon. Posting deals on the community tab all the time as well. Make sure you get subscribed so you see those deals and you don't miss out. First up, we have a new release, Coach Open Road, Eau de Toilette, brand new fragrance line. I've did a first impressions on this one already, and so you can watch that while we are having some issues with this bottle. Uh, there we go, good enough, right? This one has lemon, pepper, and vetiver is some of the main notes in here. And it smells great. Now, is this uh, generic? Yeah, probably. Is this uh, a fragrance that I like the smell of? Oh, absolutely. So it's one of those deals where just because it's not, you know, a, uh, a mind-blowing new DNA doesn't all of a sudden make it a bad scent. I really don't think it's too redundant either. I think this has a place in just about everyone's collection because of its sheer versatility. And you can already get this one discounted as well. It'll be that first link down below. Retail is 95, this is going for like 65. So uh, for a brand new release to already have that amount of savings is pretty solid. And it might go down a little bit more given that it's a coach, but still that's a pretty good deal. Now, again, there's gonna be a lot of flankers coming out behind this one, probably an EDP and Parfum, and, and they'll probably give it different names as well. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see where this line goes, and I think this is a scent that you just cannot go wrong with. Next up, Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. So this one here has juniper berries, clear wood, and musk as some of the main notes in here. These atomizers are always very narrow, if you could see that or not. But what I do like about this, is it's going to be one of the more versatile ones from the entire lineup. Uh, now, wood neroli and wood essence, those are pretty easy to pull off in a lot of situations. Uh, but this one here kind of takes the approach of your typical modern men's release. And while it's not gonna be super exciting, it's not really what we're after here. We're after blind by worthiness. And this is the type of thing that you can pick up blindly, of course, and if you don't love it, you're at least going to like it. You're gonna think that it smells good, and above all of that, it's gonna get you positive feedback, and it's really what a lot of people do care about. Even if they don't like the scent themselves, they'll still wear it if it gets them compliments, and that's kind of what this type of thing does. Next up, Dolce & Gabbana The One Gray. So my cap is broken. This bottle got dropped during my moving process. So the inside is cracked, so it doesn't really stay on there, but hey, yeah, that's all right. Uh, this one here has vetiver, it's got grapefruit, um, cardamom, lavender. It is the one DNA, but if you could guess, fresher. And so, again, heavy focus on vetiver here, you get it immediately, but you still get some of that warm spiciness that the one also does have. So the way I look at it is daytime, wearing it to work, and when you get off of work, hop in the car, go home, getting ready to go out for a night with friends or you've got a date or something you're gonna go on, just spray the One Eau de Parfum right over top. It's gonna to layer just fine. And now you're set for more of an evening mood. I just really, really like the versatility of this and just the more everyday wear aspect of this one. And it's also very affordable. You can get this for as low as $35 for 100 mil, which is just crazy for a Dolce & Gabbana. And then you'll get a lot of use out of it. 
Next up, one that I wasn't really too thrilled with in the beginning, but I've got to say, I do kind of like it now. This is Prada Lunarosa Ocean. Lavender, Iris, and Bergamot. And, uh, you know, I saw the Iris, and I'm like, oh, I'm excited. I got this one in, and at first I wasn't really vibing with it fully. But now I'm starting to appreciate it for what it is. It kind of has this, now I'm going to say this, but it's not really what I mean. It's got this blue smell almost like this fruity blueberry smell, which sounds kind of weird. And I'm not really, again, meaning blue ambroxan in this case. There's already one of those in the line, but just more so of this kind of fruitiness. You're getting a little bit of a creamy silkiness from the iris, but it's not too strong. You know, it doesn't go into the sweet direction. Uh, you're just getting some nice citrus in here. It's a very, very mass pleasing, wearable, uh, just, just, I don't know. It's something where I don't think you can go wrong with it in any situation, really. And I think that's what makes this one so powerful. When it comes to the whole lineup, it's going to be one of the more blind buy safe ones. I think you can even kind of go wrong blind buying the original or the sport if you're not sure exactly what you're into. Carbon, you can blind buy. Black is one where you can kind of go wrong with as well. But I think just about everyone will like this one. Next up, we have Lome Le Parfum by Yves Saint Laurent. I really like this stuff a lot. It's one that I wear a lot just when I'm hanging out at home and I just want something easy, something that's not gonna get in my way, so to speak, and by that, I mean something that won't be distracting when I'm trying to work. I just want something relatively light in terms of its delivery and, and scent character and just something very pleasant. And actually, this one's kind of motivating as well. It's got amber wood, geranium, and ozonic notes in here love how this smells. Uh, the way I describe it is it's the original loam mixed with a little bit of YSLY EDP slash EDT DNA. So you're getting some of that gentlemanly smell mixed with some of that newer style blue fragrance smell. I think it's a great mixture. You know, it just works for a whole bunch of different situations. And it's one that I think a lot of guys will think smell really good. Next, one of my favorite cheapies, one that I featured in my summer list, and it ranked pretty high. It's Pepe Jeans Cocktail. It's got lemon, yuzu, ginger, and woody notes in here. It's all about that, that citrus opening, though, and it smells incredible. I really, really like this one. Man, it's one of those feel-good scents. It has such this bright pop about it and a little bit of this kind of almost sugary bite kind of from how the citrus is coming across and part of that's gonna be the ginger as well, giving it a little bit of a sparkle. And for the price, usually around $30, it's one that you can't go wrong with. And because of that price point, it makes it even more of a safe blind buy. Now with this one, you gotta be a fan of citrus, right? Most people are, not everyone though, but if you're kind of more so just starting out, this is the type of thing you want to get into and it's a great blind buy. Armani Code Colonia. It's one of the most affordable Armani codes you can get on discounters. I believe you can get the, I don't know what it is. This is a 125 ml. I believe you can get, it's the step below this. I don't remember if it's 2.5 or what it is, but um, you can get it for about less than $70. I think it's like $64 or something. And so you can get this for a really good price. It's got Tonka Bean, Amberwood, and Bergamot. This one really didn't get a whole lot of attention at all when it first came out. Just kind of got pushed away and people forgot about it. For me, I think it's very pleasant. It's one that I enjoy the smell of a lot just because it's very easy going. And the way I've kind of used this one is, this is my Armani Code for the summertime. Now, you know, Armani Code Absolute, Armani Code Profumo, the new EDP and the Parfum, those are all gonna be more fall and winter time scents. You know, Armani Code Parfum came out earlier in the year. Wasn't really able to wear it as much as I would have liked to given it's more so summer release. I'm gonna get into it heavier now that it's cooling off. But when I'm wanting Armani Code in the warmer months, I could wear those, right? But I like to try to keep them for when I can get the most use out of them. And so that's when I wear something like Colonia. It's just the nice fresh one for the more warm weather. And it does have a little bit of that blue fragrance thing going on, but it's in a different way with that Code D DNA, didn't mean to rhyme that, <laughs> and uh, it just smells great. Very easy to wear, very easy to pull off and to blind buy. Alrighty, next up, Tommy Bahama Saint Kitts. Now this one has a very unique star fruit note in here, watery notes, uh, a little bit of sea salt, um, orange, citrus, right, as you would expect from Tommy Bahama. It's uh, a very easygoing, tropical, playful, summertime scent and it doesn't get much cheaper than this either 20 bucks on discounters um, st bart's is another good one and while you're not really going to have any luck 
buying samples of that or it really isn't even worth going into stores you should blind buy that one too but because that one smells literally like tequila and lime not everyone likes that maybe not the best blind buy even though you still should blind buy it if you're interested in it. if that makes sense maybe it doesn't but the point is between the two this is probably going to be likable to more people and so that's why i featured this one instead just very, very easy to wear. And what I like about it is the tropical vacation vibes that I get from it. And I get that from St. Bart's too. Um, but really for the price point, you can't go wrong. And the bottle even has this kind of soft feel to it. Kind of weird, but also kind of cool. Next up, second to last, Narciso Rodriguez Blue Noir. This is the Eau de Toilette. It's got cardamom, musk, woods, vetiver. So it's uh, a nice musky and woody modern smell with a little bit of a warm cardamom up top. Uh, nothing too sweet, nothing too crazy out there. It's still a very wearable, very likable scent, but with a little bit of a different twist. And I think this is gonna be one of the more interesting ones in this list. So if you're wanting something that's still blind by safe, but you want to maybe smell a little bit different and separated from other fragrances out there, then you could go for this one. On discounters, these are usually mid price range, you know, 50, maybe $60, mid 40s. So right around in there. And these have great quality for the price. And we'll end this one with YSLY Live. It's got uh, orange blossom, uh, juniper, and uh, what else? Some ginger in here. Uh, they don't list off like amber wood or ambroxan or anything like that, but I do get it. What I like about this, again, is it's the DNA, of course. You've smelled the EDP. I'm sure you've smelled the EDT, right? Probably smelled oh fresh. But this one has a little bit more of a sweetness to it in a different way, which I like. And I think it's gonna be a nice pickup for especially the younger guys out there. The EDP still kind of has that young, playful smell, but it's at least a little bit more versatile in terms of age range. But I think especially if you're a younger guy and you're just wanting that sweet compliment bomb, and uh, you've got a little bit more money to spend, then go for this one. If you fall into that category, you can't go wrong. And even if you don't like it, this is gonna get you some great results. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. 10 blind buy safe fragrances that everyone should look into at some point. Again, I will link these down below. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.